because I think people might hear what you're saying and go, all right, it's easy for him to say, but how do we line up semiconductors when they're at a, at a huge shortage, the prices are high and so forth? How did Enphase do it? How did they, so you're saying they, they've managed now to, to shore up their supply? Are there lessons there for other companies about how they should be pursuing this as well? Sure. Well, it starts out that I used to be in the semiconductor industry and, and I'm on the board. It helps even farther that the CEO used to work for me and, and uh, we both know semis. We know that fabs are big and slow and that you have to have a guaranteed supply. So we, we qualified two suppliers for each part and then we qualified for the parts that we're at risk for a third supplier. So we have three places to go. Now, to be completely Completely fair uh, to the automotive industry, uh, which is frankly not my inclination here, but th th they they did get shut down hard. But they typically have for their high tech chips. Most of their chips are are available, so this is not a broad shortage. This is a sh for all chips, 40 nanometers and above. The older technologies, you can buy what you need. Maybe it's a little bit higher price. Uh, okay, but I'll tell you about this higher price. Oh my God, the prices are higher. When I came into the industry, a transistor was a buck. And today, a transistor in the form of an integrated circuit memory can be as low as a billionth of a penny. So yeah, prices are high if they go from one to two billionths of a penny. Oh my God, prices have doubled. But the fact is that the, the integrated circuits and Moore's Law have driven our economy. So we have multiple suppliers that the, the mm -hmm. automotive guys don't. Uh, they have a very arduous qual. It reminds me of the old 883B military qual. It takes a very long time, and it right. costs a lot of money on both sides. That's one reason I want to... uh, they're not super preferred customers for many chip companies because of all the work you got to do just to sell to them. Forgive and me. And when they get that work done, they only get one supplier, and, and especially on the high end. And they'll actually ask for custom chips, uh, chips that do their little features that, that make their car a little bit better. And the net result is they're hung on one supplier. And if one supplier has a problem, goes down, can't buy wafers, whatever, right. uh, that's called a single point of failure in procurement theory. You don't have them if you don't want to get shut down. Well-managed companies don't have them. And that uh, that's my end phase example. Right. Uh, for, I, forgive I me for interrupting, not, TJ, if I might. One more. We're, we're running a little. One last, okay, go let ahead. Let me make one last point. I will give credit because I've always said Toyota managed around this. Toyota bought inventory and Toyota made it through. Well, Toyota's now having a 40% cutback. That is, they're still shipping and they're not shut down. But when this shortage hits Toyota, it means there aren't, aren't, aren't enough chips. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll admit that and not say this is an auto only problem, but for the American companies, uh, they paid for this problem on the installment plan. So uh, I, we're, we're pretty much out of time, but my, my simple question is, how the hell did we get here? And as you just said, it's not just the auto industry that is being affected here. Well, we got here <clears throat> because we had the COVID recession. Everybody, including me, maybe you, I bet you you could run one of your shows back at that time. Oh my God, the economy is going to go to hell. And what happened was everybody cut back. Everybody wants to hunker down. Everybody wants not to get put out of business by the COVID recession. And one of the things you don't buy is chips and you don't have your long contract for chips. And when companies have take or pay contract, they'll make your stuff and they'll put it in inventory. But if they say, if they don't have an order, they won't make it because they don't want to get stuck with your chips that are custom to you uh, and they can't sell them. So what happened was we all hunkered down for COVID and the problem with the semiconductor company is from the time you say, I want more right now, it's six months until you get more on the mm -hmm. high tech side. It's much mm -hmm. shorter for other stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened.